And in the hot seat tonight is Labour's Minister for many things, including arts, culture and heritage, the Honourable Carmel Cepoloni. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, me. your job to answer the questions put to you by the teams, but not use yes or no. Do you understand that? OK. OK, take it away, teams. Carmel, uh, you're the first MP of Tongan descent uh, in Parliament. Is uh, Judith Collins your favourite MP of Samoan descent? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a ton of portfolios. What, four? I've got ACC, Employment, Social Development and Arts, Culture and Heritage. So and disability you, issues. How can you be Minister of Employment if you've taken all the jobs? <laughs> <laughs> we might be doing better on this side of the ditch than on that side. All oh, right, we know. We know. <laughs> hey, Kamal, I've got an ACC question. So if I was, like, walking home um, from town um, drunk and I rolled my ankle, could I claim that under ACC for, like, work? Shit. <laughs> it wouldn't be work related. Yeah, right. But there would be some cover from oh, ACC. Oh, wow. Really? Even being drunk? Yeah. Well, if every New Zealander was precluded from getting ACC because alcohol was involved, <laughs> it would save the system a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. Carmel, speaking of that, there was um, in the news a whole lot of people claiming injuries, for, for injuries from fitted sheets. <laughs> I certainly didn't hear those particular cases. You didn't hear that? I didn't, and luckily I don't deal with the cases directly myself. Do you think people like that shouldn't be covered? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it can happen to anyone. I went missing for three weeks and I was in a fitted shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, though. I did some Googling. Is your partner a poet? He is a poet. Oh, wow. What's it like being the main breadwinner? <laughs> <laughs> he needs a full-time job as well, so also works in the library. You, um, is it true that you had a Zoom call that went semi-viral? I did. What happened? Your son turned up in the background. I can't remember what happened. Uh, just don't buy the odd vegetables. He showed up in the background oh. with a... A suspicious-looking carrot. <laughs> That's right. It was a carrot with a penis. While I was. Yeah, I saw While that. I, I saw that all the way over. I saw that on the other side of the water. It was How so old funny. Is your son? He's nine now. Because my husband sometimes does it at countdown. I, I, don't, think, I don't think they ever grow out of they it. Don't. To be honest. I, um, so, Carmel, you're minister for the arts. Mm. Did you see Fast and the Furious 9? <laughs> <laughs> I think my children may have seen it and I probably was asleep while they were watching it. <laughs> my favourite New Zealand artist is Lord. I don't know if you happen to saw her latest album cover. Did you have to approve that? And, uh, did, you <laughs> <laughs> and did you think it was, professionally speaking, hot? Uh, I certainly didn't approve her album cover and, uh, of course, hot. <laughs> uh, God, please come uh, to Australia. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I remember seeing uh, in, in the, sort of my research into you that um, Paula Bennett, George Bushed you. Is that true? Uh, one by nine votes against oh, and me. Did she after went a, a recount. Went something? for a recount. Judicial recount. So yes. Ugh. Oh, that's a yes. <laughs> Give it up for Carmel Seven. Thank you, Carmel.